It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Green Bay Packers. And it comes your way next. And we come to you for one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. CD, it is officially a new era here in Green Bay. After a few years of Willie Woney with Aaron Rodgers, it is officially time to see Jordan Love quarterbacking the Green Bay Packers. And we'll find out what lessons he's absorbed along the way, how well he's mastered the playbook, the respect he's gained from his teammates in the locker room. We know that Love is in the air in Green Bay. The key is, what will Love do through the air? And meanwhile, for the Chargers, you know, they have the pieces in place. They were a playoff team in 2022. What do you see for them this year? You give this team full health throughout the season, and they have a chance to be not just a playoff team again, but beyond, because they'll scare the heck out of you on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, that's where they have to start playing a little bit better. Here's Anders Carlson set to get this one started, and we are underway here at Lambeau. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So the Charger offense making its way out, and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert, who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That good for 22 and a first down. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. Herbert's throw there, complete to Allen. And he gets this to the other side of midfield, across the 45 before going out. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Second and ten. Now it's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 23. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Eckler again. And this time he'll run into a wall right at the four-yard line. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Chargers have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because... He's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out if Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Now this throw caught left side. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And how about the quick feet there as he made a man miss on his way to a solid gain of seven. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Love with it here, third and short yardage. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. 
third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. The love throw finds its target, Dobbs. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. To the air again, Love. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Packers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, he's regarded as one of the best athletes among NFL tight ends, Charles, and it certainly was on display right there. And as we've seen this league continue to grow and develop, I think the tight end position is becoming harder and harder to defend because now it's elite athletes playing that position, not just the big guys who can block. How about his ability to get downfield and make plays against any defense? Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This taken in at the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Once more, here's Eckler. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Devondre Campbell, nice play to get in there and drop him. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker, has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Oh, 
So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. And they're going to get him down well short of the first, as he can only get this to the 30. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Now, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And Parton, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Love now. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Love. And this is going to be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On now is the Packers punter. And the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So out come the Chargers. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Ball on the 39, here's second and four. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? 
to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So the completion good for seven there at its second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. On second down, Eckler. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. Third down and one. Here's Herbert. I uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Now the rookie, Jaden Reed, deep for the Packers. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. You're down on the scoreboard, and this is not what you want to see. 99 yards of field in front of you. And it just shows how important a good punter can be and how that person can really help out a team. Guarantee you his agent can be taking that video clip in on the next contract negotiation, don't you think? Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First down, love to pass. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. Oh, what a juke into space. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. As always, no rooting interest here. But that was pretty, wasn't it? To see him break through and then pick up his stride. Yeah, the guy carrying the ball loves it. I think the O-line, they might like and take more satisfaction out of those runs than anybody else, though, right? Without a doubt, because they're the ones that often have created it. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Oh boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because like, like him, it's gonna haunt my dreams too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. They'll try and run for the first with Dillon. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Now Love. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. 
Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Throwing. Love. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. It's a gain of 34. He scored their touchdown earlier, and this had a chance to be another. This secondary scrambled for answers, looking at each other and trying to figure out who is going to put the clamps on this guy, because right now, he's absolutely shredding them. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Love. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. A great play there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Packers drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. Carlson on for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the result, a Green Bay score. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he goes out right around the 39. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Herbert off of play action. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to have the football back again. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, well, I wouldn't change it. it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Love now on second down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple of touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. To throw now, here's Love. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Off the play fake, Love. This is caught, it's Christian Watson. And they got him well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Khalil Mack. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And down he goes again. A bevy of sacks in less than a half. But this defense is still losing the game. They've got to fix something because there should be no excuse for losing with an effort like this on that side of the ball. They need to take advantage when their defense is generating this kind of pressure so early in the game. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Touchdown! Jaden Reed, 46 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. Great corner out there, not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field, and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Now Carlson for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays, and it ends with a Packers touchdown. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Complete to Johnston here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know, as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Big Kenny Clark that time, pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. On second down, here's Herbert. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of the game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage. Get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards. Turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. 
So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. But he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Now a second and 10. To the air again, Herbert. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. You doing okay over there, partner, because that's yet another sack in this game that you just had to call. We're not even at halftime yet. No wonder this team has the lead. What an effort by the defense right from the word go. The adjustments at halftime, they're going to have to be big, or this could really get ugly in the second half. Now Herbert. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Matty, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Love looking to throw it. That's complete to Downs. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now a first down carry by Jones. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Love. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's gonna be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. This offense so far on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. And that one hits at the 7 but bounds into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. 
Eckler going to get it again on second down. He'll be taken down well behind the line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you to the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. On first down, it's Herbert. That's complete to Palmer. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. First down now, but that clock rolling. A shotgun snap for Herbert. His throw incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Herbert throwing again. That's taken in by Palmer. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 18. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. So from inside the 20, here's first and ten at the 18. Herbert operating from the red zone. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So much of his game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big head on them as they try and catch the ball. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Gets around him. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Here's Herbert. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. That has to feel like a very unsatisfying drive, right? You move the ball all that way, and then you can't convert on third down. But it was satisfying up until that point. Almost like a great movie, and then the film cuts out before the big ending. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They only get a hard-fought yard, but that's all they needed. It pays off the decision to go for it first and goal. of the gun, Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and calls a nice play for lost yardage. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end is going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. And this one is 
goes right through. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in this last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was an excellent first half from quarterback Jordan Love. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Well, the Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Partner, he got the DB on his horse on that play. He certainly sold like it was going to be a deep route before breaking it back on the comeback towards the sideline. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Love now. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch. Especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. So the completion gets him just a yard, and now it's third and three. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'll come up now third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. That's a solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. A run there on first down and a pretty good one at five yards, so make it second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run? Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, 
you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down, it's Jones. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. And now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Love with a give to Dillon. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. They'll run here with Dillon. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Second and goal from the one. Dillon. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. A 10-play drive that time. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Returnable here for Davis. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. From the 25, here's second down at seven. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. First down there, but it's incomplete. After
after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Herbert back to the air. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Quentin Johnston, the intended receiver on the play, and it's third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. And this, this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. Running on first down, Eckler. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Rashawn Gary that time through the line and getting the tackle for loss. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Herbert now. He dumps it to Eckler underneath, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Going deep here for Allen. And he's got it inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Eckler. Touchdown, Chargers. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove-it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point try now from Dicker. And this one's back to an eight-point game. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Packers ready to take over offensively. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that? Right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you're talking about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. So furatory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 46. Play fake. Here's Love. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Khalil Mack getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Throwing, love. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. This is a counter play. Eckler. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. 3-4 defense, and that O-line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again, just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Rashawn Slater, first-round pick in 2021. Guilty there. Herbert off of play action. Touchdown, Chargers! Keenan Allen, 28 yards. And the Chargers have come back to make it a two-point game. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Herbert and the Chargers stay in put. They'll line up and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. 
And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. On second down, another run for Dillon. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Love looking to throw it. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. On now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Wide receiver Keenan Allen bringing out the rest of this offense. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, but he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now it's Herbert. Open man, it's Palmer. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Up the middle with Eckler. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. In motion right comes Allen. Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. That was all Preston Smith navigating into the backfield. He gets the tackle for loss. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. 
But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. So they'll, of course, decline the pass interference there and wisely take the yardage. And I think defensively he's saying, I was getting away with that in the first half. Why are you making that call now? But to me, that one was pretty easy to see. I don't understand what he's upset about. I think it was the correct call. Escaping the pressure right. And Herbert going to slide to a stop, and he has a first down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved into combined 33 yards. So well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Herbert. but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Partners, been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. And the incompletion, then the run for no gain. Let's see now. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. When it's third and goal, you don't need to make a heroic play. You just need to make a play and able to knock that one away. That was really nice. Yeah, I don't think going for the interception, like you said, just wanted to make sure that the ball hit the ground, and it did. I'm going to call heroic anyway. And his kick here is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. Oh, able to avoid him. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On play-action, love to throw. That's complete to Dobbs. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Love. And he's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Jordan Love ready on first down here. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. Looking for Christian Watson that time. That'll bring up second down. To the right side, this is Dillon. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You talk about Tiny? You talk about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. On now is the Packers punter. He's been terrific so far. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. On second down, Eckler. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Here's third and three. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Play action, it's Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is gonna have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense, you dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A big play there for L.A. 44 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 97 yards on the ground for Eckler here, and that's a first down. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Donald Parham. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers will add to their fourth-quarter lead. 
But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. The Packers offense set to go. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline and now they have to try and battle back from a two score deficit. Love gonna break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 22. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Here's second and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. A short throw to Musgrave. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's showtime, baby. Hey, let's go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Dillon. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here, he's back to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. And he is gonna bring this back inside the 20 to the 18 yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon, let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Devontae Wyatt able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I think we're both starting to run out of adjectives because this pressure has been relentless all game, but none of the prior sacks might be as impressive as the one we just saw. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Now a give running left is Eckler. And even 100 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. 
It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at his offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, He's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 30 big ones. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And he's got it inside the 10. And it's a Packers touchdown. Christian Watson, 49 yards. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Carlson's extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand-new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Here's Herbert. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here is third and five. Now it's Herbert. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they take a knee. The handoff, it's Eckler. And he will have a charger first down, and that should be the one that gets him to the finish line. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And hey Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.